From Santa Barbara, California, this is Chad Welker with the Zips Digital Network here with head coach Jared Embeck. And coach, first of all, I have to talk about the Stanford game. Got a lot of things, monkeys off your back, uh, scoring a goal against Stanford. First time that's happened in the uh, NCAA tournament in 14 games. Uh, how did that game go for you guys overall, and how were you able to accomplish such a feat? You know, I think the game went uh, very well. We we talked about a couple things that we were able to accomplish. One of them was starting the game well. And, um, you know, I thought, you know, last year we didn't, and that really hurt our confidence. This year we did, and we even got a goal in the first 15 minutes. And then uh, we knew at halftime up 2-0 we were going to get away from Stanford, and we did. And, uh, you know, we just took what we've learned all year. You just refocus, you get back to playing Akron soccer, and we can win it. One of the most impressive things I think people in the soccer community really love to see was that death by a thousand passes with 34 passes prior to the game winning goal with Colin Byros. That's the Akron style. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I don't think we anticipated being able to do a goal like that. Not not because we don't practice, it's just because uh, sometimes it doesn't take you 34 passes to open up the opponent. And, uh, you know, we kept talking about, look, let's let's do this with a purpose, you know, switch fields, find the opening. And when the opening's there, Let's go for it and try to attack and create a goal. And uh, you know, with Stanford's credit, I think they deserve a lot on that play. It took us 34 passes to accomplish that. And, uh, you know, the skill and the movement of our guys is something I'm proud of because that's, that's who we are and that's what we work on. Now we move into the matchup against Michigan State tomorrow in the College Cup, the Final Four. Um, we've already played them this year, 2-1 victory up in East Lansing. Um, what's going to be different about this time? Uh, you know what, I think both teams have grown and matured. and. Um, you know, I think both teams had some injuries as well. So, uh, you know, I think, you know, we know each other well, so we know it's going to be difficult. And us winning last game will make this one harder. But uh, I think it's whatever team can get their style of play implemented on the game and, and control it. If we can do that and get Akron soccer, I think that means our chances are better. If we have to play to their tempo and the way they want to play, then they have a, a shot to beat us. And then want to talk about Marcel Zajac. Uh, had two goals against Stanford, an assist. Uh, just talk about his play and the leadership that he's really continued on since the beginning of the MAC tournament. Yeah, he's been fantastic. I think he's a key to why we've been able to get going. It gives us another guy other than David that, you know, we can go to in key moments. And uh, those two, we saw it in the spring. When those two started playing well, they clicked. They have a great relationship. Um, and we we're just trying to hopefully bring that back this fall. And it's taken a little bit longer than we want, but now you see both players confident and it makes us a more balanced team. And then this is the third trip you've had to the College Cup in the past four years. What have you learned about your coaching style uh, that you can emulate into to tomorrow's matchup? Yeah, I just think for me, it's always sticking to, to us and who we are and um, trying to give the guys confidence in our style of play. And the last two times, look, we lost this, the, the team that won at Stanford and PKs and um, then Stanford last year. And I thought their last year's team was one of the better teams in in my time at college um, and they outplayed us on the day so didn't want to over you know for me it's not you look at the game you look at the 90 minutes 15 it could have gone either way 17 we deserved to lose because we didn't play well so the focus here is playing well and playing Akron soccer and have you feel felt that the guys have come in a little more relaxed off even after the five-hour plane trip you know I think everyone's in a good mood and they're confident uh, I think everyone at this stage is anxious on all four teams, you know. Uh, they just want to get to the games. They, you know, these it's nice event and all the stuff they put on, but uh, sometimes that can be distracting. So, um, you know, for us, we just want to get to tomorrow. As always, appreciate the time, Coach. Good luck this weekend. Zips fans, don't forget you have uh, two opportunities to watch uh, the University of Ackerman soccer team at James A. Rhodes Arena uh, for a watch party there and at Jay Dublin's in Akron, Ohio as well. Uh, for Chad Welker and the Zips Digital Network, let's go get that second star. Have a great weekend, and as always, go Zips.